Hi, uh, this is Steve again. I've made a few uh, videos about Corona uh, virus, how to make a safe trip to the grocery store, how to create a safe station at your house, and uh, I wanted to impart a little information to you here in the comment section of one of the videos. It said that it's very nice to be able to do all those things, but the virus is airborne, and uh, if you don't wear a mask, you're going to get it anyway. And that's not true. And I wanted to relate some straight up information to you so you understand it a little bit. As a veterinarian, I dealt with viruses and herds of cattle. And I had to take precautions when moving from farm to farm so that I didn't spread those viruses. So I know a little bit about this. But the most important thing I know is that in order to best defend yourself, you have to know your enemy. And so we have to know some things about Corona. And I don't think the media, I think the media tells us uh, to do certain things, but there's a little lack of understanding of why. And I think that understanding uh, clarifies it, makes it more pertinent to us. So when it comes to viruses, they're spread uh, in three ways. They're either uh, airborne, they're contact, droplet-borne, or they're contact. Um, airborne viruses like measles, a uh, person could sneeze in a room, you could walk into the room later, it's aerosoled in there, you can breathe it and get it. That is an airborne transmission. Uh, coronavirus is spread by droplet and the third method, contact. The virus is growing in your lungs and your throat. And when you cough, this mucus cloud you produce, the droplets in there, the virus is adhering to those droplets. And uh, it does not necessarily aerosol. Now a study was run at MIT on sneezing and determining just how far those droplets go. And the droplets before they fall will go six feet. So if you're wondering why the media is telling us to stay six feet apart, that's the reason why. MIT also found that after the initial sneeze and cough, kind of the puff of air afterwards could carry very microscopic particles that might go as far as 30 feet. Now, not very much of it, and a low degree and in incidence of infection from that, but if you're in a room of people, you need to know about the six-foot rule, and you need to know a little bit of something that it might be a little bit more and more is better. So, when it comes to killing corona, we have to know that it comes out in these droplets and from there it's going to do a couple of things. If you're in the six foot mucus zone and you get a face full of it, it's very likely you're going to develop some problems directly from that. Uh, but if a person sneezes on a surface, a countertop, or a food buffet, or on their dog, or on any item that has a surface, then the virus is then on the surface. And if you're going to get coronavirus, I think the vast, vast majority of times it is going to be from your own fingers into your own mouth. So if you could keep the virus off of your hands, you can keep it out of your mouth. As far as wearing a mask is concerned, if you have the virus, you should probably wear a mask because that keeps you from making a mucus cloud for somebody else. And if you don't have the virus, if you wear a mask, it kind of protects you from touching your own face. And that's good. But the new study out of Iceland said that of all the people they tested, and they tested a lot, all the ones that tested positive for coronavirus, half of those people did not show any symptoms at all. That means that out in our world, and like the beach down in Florida, there could be a lot of people showing no symptomologies, but every time they talk or, or cough or sneeze, they are broadcasting that virus out. In countries where everybody wears a mask, I think that takes care of a lot of those 50% of those people who are asymptomatic, who don't know they have it, but it's stopping them from spreading it. So I think wearing a mask is maybe not a bad idea so long as we are in a mode where we aren't testing as much as we should be testing. 
But once we know what we have to deal with, that's why our disinfectant sprays are effective. 70% alcohol is effective. The envelope that is around the coronavirus that protects it is made out of lipids or fat. Alcohol dissolves that and destroys it. A lot of your antibiotics, uh, not antibiotics, your, your antiseptic sprays will do that. Some people had asked about this particular product. On one of my other videos, I talk a lot about it. It's Microban, uh, which is a household disinfectant. The nice thing about this is it says right on the label here it's going to kill corona in 60 seconds. So if you have an object or countertop, you spray it, wait 60 seconds, wipe it down, you've killed the corona on there. But the really neat thing about this is if you spray this on a surface and let it air dry, that surface will kill corona for 24 hours. And that is a phenomenally good thing to have, a good weapon to have. Uh, Spray that on your door handles, your steering wheel, your gear shift, your seat belt. Things that you know you commonly touch and you've got something that's going to protect you. I don't own any stock in this company, but I think it's a very good product for the 24 hour reason. So I wanted to explain this to everyone, that you don't become uh, dissatisfied with thinking you can fight this virus because you think it's just coming in on the air and going to drift in the cracks of the house and get you. It's not. It's coming in on your hand. That's where you're going to get it. And if you could use your safe station, your disinfectants, your uh, sprays, your uh, safe runs to the uh, grocery store, keep out of contact with people, maintain your six feet or more. All of those things are going to help you become confident that you can indeed protect yourselves. And when you have that knowledge that you can, then that is empowering. And it's been empowering to me to find these things out. And I hope by relating these to you that you can gain a little bit of that confidence too and know that you can help yourself. So the coronavirus, your hand, your mouth is going to get you. Uh, it's not going to, you know, droplets and sneezes can get you, but it's not going to drift through the air and come down the chimney and get you. So take care. Be safe. Uh, watch my videos. They don't monetize any of these videos about corona or that, but it's just good information to have to empower yourselves. And good luck to you.